Hello internet, it is Adam Malik Aaron Aaron and welcome back to the channel. Part 104. Yeah, it's one of those episodes where majority of movies I'm going to be talking about are movies that I don't care about, I will never care about, and I will never watch, so great. <laughs> but enough happened to where... You know, this episode justified its existence. So let's let's do this. So you're probably wondering what caused this episode to exist. Several things, actually. The biggest thing being uh, Down Abbey, A New Era, or AK Down Abbey 2. It got delayed again. So, yeah. And I know people care about Down Abbey. I'm not one of those people. But... <laughs> it, I might as well talk about it first because it's the, probably the most important news here. So Down Abbey, A New Era, as the title from this deadline article states, Down Abbey, A New Era release date shifts to early summer. So here's the thing about this movie. And I last time I talked about it was back in July, where I think that with that video, I grouped it with um, Last Night in Soho being pushed back to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I made that video, I forgot what episode it was. Was it 72? I think it was 72. Yeah, I think it was 72. Uh, I mentioned how Down Abbey 2 was supposed to be a Christmas movie. That was the plan. It was going to enter that field. And then it got pushed back to March of 18th. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll just wait till then. But... Universal and Focus, they said, nah, mm -mm, no, we're pushing it back again to May 20th in the U.S. So, yes, Down Abbey 2, this is now being, uh, is that it can officially be labeled as a summer movie at this point in time, unless they move it back again. But, yeah, it's kind of weird, because... Usually for summer, like you expect, like the type of movies you expect during summer are like the big popcorn blockbuster esque movies. You know your your Marvel movies, your Jurassic Park movies, your um, Fast and Furious movies, those type of movies. This is none of those. <laughs> it's a and yeah, it's strange. And when it's coming out, it's going to be opening against a DC uh, Super Pets. So those two audiences shouldn't clash <laughs> at all. But you, you want to know what comes out the next weekend? Um, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. And then two weeks before this movie comes out, guess what comes out? Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. So, yeah, they picked a rather interesting date <laughs> for this movie. And apparently this was done because obviously Down Abbey, A New Era, is aimed towards an older audience, an older demographic, a demographic that powered the first uh, Down Abbey movie to really good numbers at the box office. Like it opened with like 31 million and made like close to 100 million domestic. That's pretty darn good. Especially for like the first movie came in like September. So... It had a very strong performance, so I guess it would make sense that they would want to protect it and make sure that it makes money. Because adult movies have been struggling so badly <laughs> these past few years. It's not even funny. Okay, it is kind of funny. But, yeah, like the only adult movie that's been successful in like the past few years is like what? Um, House of Gucci, and that's it. So, yeah, it's been it's been rather bleak to say the least. And but will Down Abbey, a new era, change that narrative? Will it bring the the older adult audience back to the cinema? Maybe it certainly has a chance. But I guess we'll have to wait and see until like on May twentieth. So, yeah, that's the big news. Which really should tell you how unexciting all this news is. So that's the first thing. 
couple other things I want to mention. Uh, this movie called 13 Lives. A Ron Howard movie. It was supposed to come out uh, April 15th. Yeah, Easter weekend, which would be April 15th. And then apparently after getting like really good test scores, they decided to push that all the way back to Friday, November 18th into award season. Which, you know, when you think about it like that, it makes sense. Like, if you know your movie is going to win awards and whatnot, why open it in April? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Everyone knows, like, prime time for these Oscar movies is fall and the holidays. Like, September, October, November, December. That's prime time. For these movies to come out, make a splash, get rave reviews and awards and all that jazz. So yeah, releasing this in April would have been kind of stupid. <laughs> Not to mention, April has enough movies. This and so it can really lose a movie because April's rather crowded for some weird reason. But yeah, so. I don't know much about it at all, but, um, yeah, so that happened. That happened, uh, earlier this week. And then, uh, speaking of the Easter weekend, uh, another movie has popped in that, into that weekend. Uh, it's a movie called Father Stew with, uh, Marky Mark over here. Uh, and this from Sony, they, uh, got the rights for the movie and it will come out April 15th Easter weekend the same weekend as uh Fantastic Beast 2 of oh, not Fantastic 3 God. I don't even it doesn't matter <laughs> who cares about Fantastic Beast 3 at this point I know I don't but um yeah so this is a rather interesting turn of events I don't think it's going to make much cash i mean sure it's about a true life story of a boxer turned a uh, priest and it's easter weekend like it makes perfect sense but i think it's just gonna get lost in the shuffle <laughs> that's what i think is gonna happen because april when i show you what april looks like when we get to like the what will happen next part of the video uh it'll really tell you just how brutal april looks <laughs> When it comes to competition. But uh, yeah. So that happened earlier this week too. And I wanted to mention that. Last thing. I wanted to mention. Uh, and it revolves around. Going back to the HBO Max experiment. I know that. I know the experiment is dead. Okay it's over. But I thought this was interesting. So one of the more notable movies of the HBO Max experiment was uh, Mortal Kombat. A movie I've covered, I covered many times on the Cancelled series, I covered his box office prediction, all that. And it's getting a sequel. So that's <laughs> and yeah, that's quite remarkable considering uh, the relative uh, lack of success of the whole experiment. But this does make sense. This does make sense. Because when it comes to all the HBO Max movies, I think this one had like the highest viewership out of all of them. Like even more than Godzilla vs. Kong and Dune. And like box office wise, like in the States, Dune and Godzilla vs. Kong more than doubled this movie's performance. But yeah, this movie, like everybody watched it on HBO Max when it came out. I was one of those people. <laughs> So it kind of makes sense that they would want to make more because I guess, you know, when they saw those HBO Max numbers, they're like, oh, wow, people really are interested in this. Maybe we should do more. <laughs> and boom, it's sequel time. It doesn't have a date yet. <laughs> I imagine it will come out like 2023, 2024, somewhere around that time. Let's hope we don't get a repeat of Annihilation, 
because we do not need another one of those, even though that movie is amazing. It's amazing for all the wrong reasons. And again, we do not need a repeat. So I guess this announcement, I mean, it proves that the HBO Max experiment wasn't a 100% failure, more like a 70% failure. I mean, I mean, other HBO Max uh, movies, you know, got sequels. I know Dune, Dune's getting a sequel uh, next year, 2023. Um... See what else? I know. I know the Suicide Squad is the Peacemaker show on HBO Max right now, but that was like in production before the movie came out, so that was gonna come out no matter what. But yeah, I think that's it when it comes to these HBO Max movies actually getting sequels. So yeah, I thought this was an interesting turn of events. So yeah, but that's it. And now we have to ask that question. What will happen next? I don't... I don't know, man. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, let's look at February. All these movies are pretty much guaranteed to come out. I don't see any of them moving at the last second. Uh, same goes for Mart. Well, except Down Nappy 2. We can scratch that off. But the rest of these... Uh, look like they'll come out. There's turning red cancel, literally. So and we know that's not coming out, at least not in theaters. In April, just look at April, man. Let's see, Morbius, Sonic Two, Ambulance, Fantastic Beasts Three, Bad Guys, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Like, there's the one would argue there's too much, but. I guess all these studios are banking on uh, April to be the big money month. <laughs> the first big money month of 2022. That's what they're going with, and we'll see if that comes true. But I don't really see any of these movies leaving. I mean, there's no reason for them to leave. And then we go to May. Yeah, obviously, I Doctor Strange 2 and... DC Super Pets and Top Gun Maverick and Bob's Burgers. That June 3rd spot is still open. You think, you would think Down Abbey 2 would have picked that spot. Like it's one weekend to shine before it gets destroyed by Jurassic World Dominion. But no, they decided not to do that for some reason. That probably would have been a smarter choice, but whatever. Uh, Since it's technically like focus features is the division with a universal so i can say universal got a universal <laughs> and yeah everything else here like lightyear black phone elvis and then that uh, july none of these movies should move although unless something happens that august 5th spot's still open if anyone wants to take it same goes for september uh, second like, someone, please, <laughs> take advantage. And then there's also October 28th. That's open. Uh, November 18th. I feel like either The Flash or Black Panther 2 is going to move there. Maybe Black Panther 2 will probably move there. That probably seems more ideal because... That's like the weekend before Thanksgiving. Like, we've had big movies come out that weekend in the past. Like, Harry Potter and Twilight and Hunger Games. Just do that. Like, what's stopping you? <laughs> and then December 9th is uh, open. And, uh, and I know Blazing Samurai, that, that's for July. I know that. July 22nd. But, uh... Yeah, like, I don't know what will happen next. I, it's very hard to predict because I feel like, you know, it, it won't be as chaotic as it was last year. I mean, look at this month in comparison to last year around the same time. Last year, I was doing canceled episodes, felt like, almost daily. Just pumping them out there because so much was going down. 
so many movies were tossed around the release schedule but now it's a lot slower and it's all infinitely more stable so yeah i'm glad that's happening but still it's if uh, i don't i don't know what to say anymore <laughs> but we'll see what happens i guess but anywho, yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? I got a playlist on the homepage of all previous uh, cancel episodes I made to the channel, including this one. There's 104 episodes. <laughs> it's got a lot. Uh, so if you want to binge watch all of them from beginning to, well, I don't want to say end, more like to now. You should definitely do that. You know, it'll give you a nice good old story of how things have been utterly fucked, <laughs> for lack of a better term, since all this started. So, uh, yeah, go watch all of them. Uh, there's also box office predictions where I predict box office for movies. I'm not doing any predictions this weekend because nothing's coming out so yeah you won't be seeing me do that video those type of videos again until february 4th when uh jackass forever and moonfall come out i'll do those and then we'll go on from there so uh yeah uh, stay tuned for those videos but if you want to watch any of the past prediction videos i made so far i know there's only five this year <laughs> But you should at least still check them out. Plus all the other ones I've done throughout the channel. You know, 2019, 2020, 2021. Go to the playlist tab. You'll find them. And there's also box office recaps where I go over, you know, the box office results for any particular month. Uh, the January recap will come out next week. Mid next week, I'm thinking. I'm aiming for. And... Yeah, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past um, recap videos I've done, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.